So Rumi Island has a hell of a lot of puzzles. Welcome back to Bad MD Decisions, it's Anya again, and as promised, this is the video guide for finding and solving all of the Stone Slate puzzles, Star Shaped Gems, and Surumi Muros. This video will also go over some chests and electroculi that are along the same route. There's a set of 7 Stone Slates that you can pick up from the various puzzles dealing with the Ishine script in Surumi, and when you collect them all, you can get an achievement and some loot. There's a lot of stuff to cover, so everything will be timestamped for you to look up whichever part you need. Oh, and I advise you to grab a pen and paper to take some notes. To be able to do these puzzles, you have to enable the Thunderbird Feather gadget from Day 2 of Sumi Island through the Mist quest chain, so if you haven't done that yet, watch my previous video on this quest chain. The side quest involving the murals can be picked up on Day 3 of the main quest chain, but all you need to do is go back to the same location to take photos. You don't have to wait to accept it before doing the other stuff. The first stone slate is easy to find. I already mentioned it in my video for the Day 2 quest, so if you already got it, you can skip to the next one. At the location of the Day 2 quest puzzle at Bakukao Show, there's another puzzle that works the same way on a tall rock cliff. The stone with the scripts on them and the bird statue to activate them are on the top of the cliff. After activating the bird, it will also release an electro CD that will fly down to the location of the password and give you a free chest. The password is about halfway down the cliff, where there's an electrogram and a bird statue. Activate the bird statue and the password will light up on the rock. Use the electrogram to go back up to the top and hit the Ishine script rocks in the right order to get your stone slate. The next place to go is Shilikolo Peak, where the Thunderbird perch with the complicated puzzles is. There's a normal chest puzzle at the top if you want to pick it up while you're here. Around the inside of the mountain, there are large letters etched on the walls. If you get close and touch them, they'll light up. There's a bird statue nearby, and when you activate it, it'll show some letters on the wall. Some of the letters are brightly lit, while the others are dark. Go to the big letters on the wall and touch only the letters that are brightly lit at the password area, leaving the other ones blank. I'll put those letters on the screen too. After you're done, a chest will spawn for your loot. At the bottom of the peak is a puzzle for the stone slate. First you have to find the bird statue with the 5 script rocks. Activate it, then beside it there should be another bird statue next to a readable stone sign. Activate this one to show the first letter in the password. The sign says something about following the Thunderbird's gaze, so you have to look at the direction the bird is facing, follow to where it's looking at another bird statue, and activate that to get the next letter. Repeat the process until the fifth letter, where the bird is lying down. I'll put the passcode up on the screen too. After you hit the le letter stones in the right order, you'll get a chest with a stone slate inside. There's also a set of purple lanterns along the walls a little above the floor, and if you light them all up with Electro, you'll get a regular chest. Next, you go into the cave that the Thunderbird Purchase Feathers flew into before. You can activate the bird statues by the Electro Barriers to spawn Electrograms, but if your Electrogram level is high enough, you can already reach those barriers using the Electrogram that's at the entrance of the cave. In the first chamber of the cave, there will be three stone walls that have bird carvings on them. Remember how I said before that the stairs going down into a dead end looks us? Use the Feather Gadget, and the wall will crumble away to reveal a hidden passage. There are a few things to get here. There's a puzzle with three Electro Seelies flying around, a set of four Electro Compasses. Imagine that you're looking at it from above. The direction you came from is the bottom, and the far end is the top. Hit the Electro CDs until they're waiting at the compasses at the top right, bottom right, and bottom left, and while your character still has the Electro Aura from touching them, activate the compass at the top left. This will get you a regular chest. At the top of this chamber is a hole in the ceiling. Climb up and there'll be a chest containing a star-shaped gem to use later. There's also a mural on the ceiling of the second floor, which is one of the murals for road side quests. If you already picked up the side quest, use the camera gadget or the camera function in the escape menu to take a picture of it. Also, the stars in the mural show the solution for the pyro torch puzzle on the wall in the hallway. There are colored stars and empty stars, and you have to light up the torches that correspond to the colored stars. Since you need to aim on the wall, use Amber or Yoimiya. You'll get a regular loot chest. Back in the main chamber, there are two more bird balls. One is directly across from the big round door you opened before, and there's a rune sentinel inside it. Find it, and get the star-shaped gem inside the chest on top of the rubble. The last star-shaped gem is behind the bird wall to the side, by the hallway that you took from the Thunderbird perch. In the second chamber, where you had to drain the pool of water before, there's a bird wall at the bottom of the pool. Use your feather to make it crumble, and there will be an electroculus behind it. Facing in from where you entered from the first chamber, towards the left side there will be a side passage. On the wall there is another mural to take a photo for a road, which also corresponds to the pyro torch puzzle behind it. In a room to the right side of the chamber, there are three murals on the walls. Take photos of all of these for road. This is also where you place those star-shaped gems. You have to walk right up to the wall to interact with it. After you place all three, they'll spawn three electro CDs that will rocket out of there. The murals show you which mountains it went to, and the location of the stars in the murals is the location of the electro CD. Before you go after them, go to the third chamber of the cave. Beside the door is the last mural you have to photograph for the road. It's also the solution for the hidden pyro torch puzzle. Activate the bird statue that's to the left of the waterfield stairway, and the torch puzzle will show up on the wall. After you light them up, you'll get a chest. Plus, the other bird statue that's to the right of the waterfield stairway will become interactable. Activate the second bird statue with your feather, and it will reveal a switch mechanism. Interact with it to drain away the water in the stairway. 
Inside is a time trial challenge to beat up some monsters and get some loot. The fourth chamber that I said looks sus before has seven lanterns in the circle on the bottom, and at each one you can interact with it to place a stone slate inside. This is where you have to return after getting all of the slates. Climb up and go to the end of the tunnel and you will emerge out at Chirai Shrine. There are two new things of interest at Chirai Shrine. If you interact with the bird statue on top of the building where the block puzzle is, it will show another set of block puzzles on the floor next to the building. The other thing will give you a stone slate. On the ground at the southwest corner of the ruined building is a bird statue. When you activate it, a switch mechanism will appear. Each time you interact with it, it will show each net script symbols one at a time on the floor. I'll put the full passcode up on screen too. You set to hit in the letter rocks nearby and you will get a stone slate. Now let's go to those three electro series. The first one is at the top of Shilikoro Peak on the southeast side of the outer wall. Keep following it and it will lead you to an electro circuit puzzle. This puzzle just gets a regular chest though. The electro city will then stop at a cliff where if you look on the map, it's about the halfway point between where Oena Beach and Shirai Shrine are. This is where all three of the electro series will converge at eventually. The next electro city is at the first Thunderbird perch you get to. While you're here, you can do the letter puzzle on the mountain wall like the one at Shirikoro Peak, except this one you don't need a password and just have to light up all the letters. There's also an electro compass set that will give you a treasure chest. Follow the Sealy as it flies away, and it will lead you to a strip of land where there's a bunch of bird statues in a row. Activate all of them, and they will each show a letter. The passcode starts from the letter at the tip of the cliff where the electro Sealy first led you to, and then you have to note down each one that appears as you walk down the pass. I'll put the full passcode up on screen too. The five letter stones you have to hit will be at the end of the pass. Finish this puzzle and you will get a stone slate. Keep following the electro CD and it will stop at the cliff where the first one did. The last CD is at the top of Mount Kana. If you haven't done the later story quest yet, you have to return here a few times, so it's just leaving a portable teleport waypoint on top of the mountain. There's a bird statue by an electrogram, and when you activate it, it will show some letters on the wall, some of which are brightly lit. In the same manner as the one at Shiriko Peak, fly over and touch the big letters on the wall that were lit up brightly and you will get a treasure chest. There's also a stone slate at the bottom of Mount Kana. Behind the big perch tree thing, there will be a bird with letter stones, three of which are missing. Activate the bird, and three normal sealies will fly off to where the missing rocks are. Grab the rocks and follow the sealies back to place them in the right position. After each rock is placed in, the sealie will float into a wall and show the password for the sequence. Hit the rocks in the right order and you'll get a stone slate. The electro sealie that came from the muro is at the northern side of Mount Kana near the top. Follow it to the other ones, and when all three are in position, they'll spawn a luxurious chest. The next stone slate is at the Ruined Circle Plaza towards the north of Shirikoro Peak. After you activate the bird statue in the middle of the circle, the small stones will show letters on them, as well as the locations in which you can slide those stones towards. I'll show the full recording of how I solved it, though it took me some time so this may not be the most optimal set of moves to make. You can go to the next timestamp if you already solved it.
The last stone slate really pissed me off because it took me forever to find the damn thing. It's on a tiny island towards the south, southwest-ish direction from outer Cape Plains. On the road map, it's the one that looks half green and half brown. There's a sliding stone puzzle again, though this one was easier for me. I'll show the full sequence, but basically you want to take the two rightmost letters and shove them into that long empty path on the right. After that, you should have all 7 stone slates, and it's time to go back to place them into the pedestals. Go back to the 4th chamber of the big underground cave, either through Shirikoro Peak or through the entrance at Shirai Shrine. Interact with each lantern one at a time, and they will light up with a floating internet script letter in each one. You'll get an achievement and... What the hell, this shit ain't worth all the time I spent on this. Well, I hope you found this video useful, please give it a like if you do. Share it with your friends and community who play Genshin. I'll see you again, and as always, Gacha was a mistake.